Hi, Reid, and I'm glad that you mentioned it. We posted the story to our Facebook page. I actually have it pulled up here on my phone, and many of you commented, hundreds of you chiming in with questions concerning on if your information had been compromised. On Monday, Quest Diagnostic, one of the biggest blood testing providers both in the country and here locally, warned that nearly 12 million of its customers may have had personal, financial, and medical information breached. Many of you took to social media with questions, and here are some answers. One question was who was impacted? those with past due balances. The hackers gained access to Quest patients through one of its third-party billing vendors called American Medical Collection Agency. According to a representative from Quest, their collections agency maintained information about patients who owed money. So if you paid your bills on time, Quest says your information would not have been sent to the agency. But if you fall in this category, cybersecurity expert Mac Jackson Jr. says the information used to collect those balances could have been compromised. And that means they possibly got your social security number. We call personal identifiable information regarding the patients from their social security numbers, how they paid for their bill, if they paid at all, and how to, you know, to find them. Address, phone numbers, all the information. To the question, did the hackers access information protected by HIPAA? Jackson Jr. says no. The investigation has shown so far that it wasn't any HIPAA information that was stolen as far as health-related matters, health-related information, only the financial information. Jackson Jr. also tells us these type of hacks are becoming more commonplace because they usually target people with low credit. Those with bad credit scores are less likely to check their credit. Hackers will then grab that information, get credit in someone's name, and you know, they will even make payments on a fraudulent credit card in order to get your credit score up to a level where they can get a major purchase. So Jackson Jr. tells me that it's very important, regardless of your credit score, to make sure that you are checking your credit report to make sure that all of the marks were made from yourself. Also, if you are worried that you are a victim, you can uh, wait to see if you receive a letter from the AMCA and then follow the directions. We also have more information about this at News3LV.com. Reporting live tonight, Faith Jesse, News3. A lot of useful information there, Faith. Thank you. The